like you're having a, a moment of zen back there, Khalil. Yeah, sometimes that's what's needed. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta it's gotta feel nice fighting here at home. I mean, how are you feeling right now? Getting ready to go into this big fight? At the moment, I feel calm. Uh, pretty nervous. Um, heart's beating pretty fast right now. Got a bunch of people in front of me with cameras, so um, yeah. I mean, yeah, a lot of feelings. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a lot. But this, this, those are the kind of things that also I, I imagine as the fight gets closer, it turns to excitement, turns to anticipation before you step in the cage. They have before, yeah, they have before. Um, in past fights, you know, it's like sometimes they've turned into excitement, sometimes they turn into anger. I mean, the, it, it really depends on the um, on the fight. Yeah. So this one, after this fight, I'll be able to go back and explain to you like what what they transferred into for this one so a lot of these I mean because this seems a little bit different than maybe what we've seen you in past ones is this because of the opponent is this just maybe because of past outcomes I mean why why the difference maybe this fight week it seems than fight weeks have passed um, I think it's a different time um, I've been through just life, right, and uh, different events in my life that have just caused me to change. Um, yeah, it's just it's a it's a new moment. It's not a past fight. It's not a past fight week. Um, it's a new moment, and as long as I continue to just grow and absorb new moments, I believe that it's like it's another experience for me, right? Like. It's not like a past fight, it's a new fight. And so this is a new experience for me. And um, I'm not relying on past um, experiences to determine my current experience. So this is gonna be a big fight week. How, how do you visualize it playing out? And how do you, how do you visualize the fight itself playing out that day? I don't spend a lot of time visualizing how it's going to play out because I don't want to get caught up into an expectation of how it's going to turn out or like a solid outcome um, because I've done that in the past and it's in a sense kind of like caused me to get let down you know like I had my mind set on a certain way that a fight was going to go and in that moment it didn't happen and um, just internally, it's just not a good feeling. So when it comes to visualizing it, it when it does come in my mind, I visualize like possibilities um, and I just let them pass. Okay. And so do you go in with a set plan or do you basically go into the cage, see how it plays out and then take it from there? Hmm. Just take it from there, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I go in there, um, I think that I'll, I'll know exactly what to do when um, when opportunities present, present themselves. How familiar uh, were you with him before uh, this fight got closed? Uh, not too familiar until he came uh, to get his knee rehab. And then, uh, yeah, just like seeing on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, me being here training and him getting like PT. So we got to see each other, you know, a few times. This is before the fight got booked or after? After the injury occurred. So after the fight was, um, you know, like... Oh, the, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So what was that like? Was that, was that weird or was that okay? It wasn't weird. No, no. Um, I thought it would be, right? Like, I'm right. like, oh, wow. Like, Forrest Griffin told me, like, oh, yeah, he's going to come and spend the week here. I'm like, so obviously with visualization, I'm like, uh, <laughs> and it turned out to be nothing like I expected, right? So... Um, no, it wasn't weird. It wasn't weird. Um, it was actually like just pretty relaxed, which was, it was at the time it was a good feeling. Yeah. Were you guys friendly with each other? Uh, Caution, cautiously friendly. <laughs> I'd say pretty neutral. Okay. Yeah, pretty neutral. M mutual level of, of respect. It wasn't like, you know, 
yeah, just a mutual level of respect. Yeah. It was civil. It wasn't like civil. you were a mean mug. That's like that's a like really good. Uh, that's <laughs> a really good. Uh, we know the first time that this fight was booked, you were really excited for it. And so I'm sure you're happy that it got rebooked. But have you had to temper your excitement a little bit this time around, just from based on last time? Yeah. Uh, when I first got the opportunity, it was, it was very exciting. Uh, I always told myself before, like, I wasn't going to fight at home until uh, it was, like, a big thing. And, like, where I'm from, everybody knew and, like, rallied behind me. Right. Um, but when that opportunity presented itself, I took it. And this is a great thing for me. And, uh, very excited. Just that, that's like the, the perfect word for it. So then when it didn't happen, uh, things just kind of like, you know, like energy drain. <laughs> and when it got rebooked, I did not build up myself as much because I was also coming off a loss, which I didn't take lightly. And that performance to me was something that it just like, it really ate me up. I'm like, what was I doing? I just didn't really know. I go back and, and just think how I felt in the fight and everything. I, I really couldn't connect. It took me a long time. So um, I didn't really build myself back up to, to have that excitement. I had to take a few steps back and just get real with myself pretty much. So you think, but you think by the time the fight rolls around, you'll be back to feeling it, like when you see him standing across from you. You'll see it when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see it when it happens. I don't know, um, and that's the, another thing too. I, I don't want to expect anything. You know, like the expectation of something or how I'm gonna feel. Um, I just don't want to let myself down, right? Like when things come, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to absorb new experiences, to take them in, to grow from them. Whatever it is that the experiences aren't perfect. You know, I'm not like, yeah, I'm gonna be so hyped up and I'm gonna... Whatever, man. <laughs> is, is there any change in, in game plan for you when you fight a guy like him who obviously has, you know, background in one particular, you know, set of MMA? Uh, you know, you're an MMA fighter. Uh, does that change your game plan at all? I know you like to stand and bang and everything, but, you know, he's, he's known for kickboxing. Is there a change in game plan? Not to get too much away or anything. Not so much a change. I can't say that there's like a, a specific thing that's like, hey, you need to change this. More of a realization of my tools when I need to use them whether it be striking, like just in an MMA aspect. I love to stand and bang, I love stand and bang. I love to, you know, just put on exciting fights and, 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 and fight, you know, fight hard. But it's MMA and I must be prepared for everything in order to win, come out safe, everything else. So it's not so much a, you know, game plan, it's just like, just, knowing what I have and what I can use if I need to. All right. Cool. Thank Thanks you. Very much. Thanks.